Hi Muckers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yes, another day, <laughs> we're back on this. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. We are going to be talking about guests. Yes, H3, Ethan, Trisha, Moses, Donna, all of them. Um, but today we're going to be focusing on Moses because Moses is speaking up, which is something, if you're aware about Moses, you know, the king of water, he doesn't really do that. He normally remains silent. Again, this is now the third time I'm saying this. Third time. Which is basically, Moses always gets praised for being silent and, you know, staying out of drama. But in this instance, it's actually being used against him because he's not speaking up in defense of his family or Trisha, who's also his family, but just, you know, remaining neutral, which is really pissing people off. But now he is speaking up in the most reliable place of all time, his TikTok comments. And I do just want to say that it's very interesting because he's responding to people and without speculating, I'm going to speculate and say that it sounds like Trisha responding. Now, this could also just be because Moses and Trisha are, you know, partners and they've been together for a while and they, you know, will pick up traits on how, you know, each other talk. But these comments that Moses is leaving in response to people literally sound like something Trisha would say and Trisha responding to people. So I do just want to, you know, throw that out there as well, that there's very similar, you know, approaches here in how they talk. So let's get into it. So someone commented on, I have a couple of comments here. Someone commented on Moses' TikTok and said, Moses, Tell Trish I love her and I stand by her. It's all just so dramatic, but it gets even more dramatic. I believe her and I have her back. She's worthy. She's entitled to her opinion and her feelings are so valid. It's just like the most like dramatic of all time, right? So Moses responds and says, thanks. She is the strong, <laughs> just like on my like speculating. Imagine this. I, I don't think it is. I was just speculating. But imagine this is Trisha commenting on Moses' account. Because Trisha has said that, you know, they've taken Moses' phone and looked through messages and, you know, written and stuff, whatever. So let's just, like, imagine that it is. Because it makes it so much more funny whenever we're reading these. Because it's, like, Trisha writing it in third person. However, it's Moses. You know what I mean? Thanks. She is the strongest and bravest person I know. She will talk to her enemies face to face. And the only reason I was saying about, like, sounds like how Trisha talks, and now, this is them probably just living together and, you know, talking like each other, but the full argument of, you know, she's so brave to talk to people face to face is an argument that Trisha has reiterated over and over and over again, but it gets even more. She will talk to the enemies face to face about issues that she cares about, R, S, A, and mental health. Now, the only reason that I immediately started thinking that, hmm, could this be a possibility that it was Trisha commenting? Again, I don't think it is. I'm just throwing that out there. Is because of, you know, saying like R and SA and mental health. But then at the same time, you know, Moses not getting involved in drama. He hears Trisha talking about, you know, R and SA and all these, you know, like keywords to like avoid saying, you know, the triggering words. Um, but it does just sound like something Trisha would say. Then he goes on. People didn't even watch the pod and are quick to show how much they hate and judge, which is, again, another argument that Trisha made, but is probably just them simultaneously agreeing on the exact same thing and Trisha saying it and then Moses agreeing with it. So people didn't even watch the pod and are so quick to show how much they hate and judge, which is what Trisha said on many TikToks. Starting to feel like a cult, dot, 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 or politics around here, which is very interesting because this is literally him talking about his sister's fandom, which is just like... This is so messy, like messy, messy, messy. So there's more that he's responded to. So someone said, it was actually Lexi, Ashley, said, I'm sorry the H3 fans are harassing you. And he responds and says, what's new? It's been happening for over a year now. So it's just very interesting because for over a year now, I guess that's talking about Moses and Trisha's relationship and the backlash from that. Because from my knowledge, other than Trisha, you know, doing like attacks on Ethan or Trisha and Ethan fighting or Ethan coming for Trisha, you know, this back and forth with frenemies fighting. I don't really see, and like, we've been keeping up to date with it. I know I have. I don't know if you've been watching these videos or whatever, but I'm sure a lot of you have. Like, it doesn't seem to me that, you know, Moses particularly has been getting harassed for over a year now. Again, I don't want to say that he hasn't because he's saying that he has. 
But it's just interesting because, again, I literally said at the start of this video, like, it's interesting because Moses always got praised, and that goes for the past year. He got so praised for, you know, being silent and not getting involved in drama and almost letting Trisha, you know, do the online things online and private off, you know, line. But, I don't know, the What's New, it's been over a year now of getting harassed. I mean, he's saying it, it must be happening, but the fact that it's his sister's fandom and, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, all right. He's saying it. Let's listen. Someone said, y'all are so quick to come after Moses and you don't even know half of the story. Now, I just feel the need to respond to this comment. So we're so quick to come after Moses. I don't really necessarily think people are quick to come after Moses because I think it's actually been a very slow process because whether you like Trisha or not, it feels that all the backlash has been just going on Trisha throughout this entire period. So it's probably for the best that Moses is getting bit of backlash or at least a little bit of like pushing him to either defend trisha or defend his family again trisha's family but i mean like his sister who is pregnant right now so all right i don't necessarily think people are quick to come after him but again this is what omar thinks and you don't even know half the story now again if this is talking about these text messages that we were told that donna sent trisha that were so you know cursed and so evil and donna's this bitch and all like that it's like we're being told half the story now because of Trisha. So Moses responds and says, they didn't even listen to the actual conversation. And if they think I will not go with her to make sure my wife is okay, then no, this, sorry, this like, how I'm reading this right now is exactly how this reads. They didn't even listen to the actual conversation, full stop. And if they think I will not go with her to make sure my wife okay, then no wonder they are single. That is exactly how that reads. So he's obviously saying that, you know, if you're coming for Moses, you're coming for Trisha, look at yourself. Are you single? That's the reason. Nothing else. You have any insecurities, self-doubt, self-loathing? Nah. You didn't believe Trisha Paytas, and you came for Moses. That's why you're single. Wow. <laughs> it's so funny because I'm seeing a lot of people responding to said comment that is being reshared, being like, it's funny that, you know, the things that have been said about Moses and Trisha's relationship without, you know, dwelling on them in this video, it's like, that's the person who's coming for us for being single. I would, you know what? Happily single. So, again, I personally have an issue with the fact that we're constantly being told from Trisha, from Moses. You don't even know half the story. Okay, well, the story that was presented to us, at least with, that started all this with Trisha and Keemstar, was a photo in which <laughs> Trisha is sitting with Keemstar, with Keemstar giving the thumbs up to the camera while Trisha's wearing a frenemies and smiling and all like this and Faze Banks, you know, beside. And it was posted on the week that they're speculating that, you know, Keemstar got H3's channel suspended. So what else to the story is there than that that you can provide us with, but you're choosing not to? So don't blame us for not knowing the full story or I don't know what else is being expected of us. They didn't even listen to the actual conversation. And if they think I will not go with her to make sure my wife is okay, no wonder they're single. No wonder, Moses. No wonder. Okay, and then someone responded saying, you suck, Moses. Apologize to your sister. You are dating a monster. Then Moses responds to said comment saying, dude, I'm a 43-year-old man, which, by the way, I did not know Moses' age. And it's not an issue, right? But I was surprised that Moses is a 43-year-old man. Now, I don't know Ela's age, nor am I going to Google it. And you don't tell me below, because we're not going to, on a woman's age, no, no, no. However, there must be a... a, a age gap there. I, I don't know. I feel like Moses was always ageless to me. I don't know. <laughs> I don't necessarily know. I've, I've just always looked at Moses like he just kind of looks like Jesus and he's just always from my experience of him just being so like on the sidelines and unproblematic and never really doing anything. I mean, I've just kind of just like, you know, absorbed that he's there. I've never really taken in anything more than Moses. And that's not a drag. That's not me being shady or whatever. It's just, I'm surprised to like finally figure out his age. I don't know why I thought that he didn't have an age 
or that he was much younger than what he said. I don't necessarily know it, or if I thought he was older than what he is. I don't know. But I just never, ever thought that he had an age. Anyways, dude, I'm a 43-year-old man. No one tells me what to do, as you can see. I don't share family drama for clicks and money. But your fiancé does, and that's what we're talking about. Right? People are responding to Moses being like, apologize to your sister. And he's like, I didn't do anything. I don't use my family drama for clicks. I don't start any drama. And it's like, people aren't saying that. People are not saying that. No one is being like, you're starting this. You did this. No, 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 no. No, they're being like, apologize to your sister for what your fiancé, you know, Cinda be wife is doing. <laughs> but he's able to flip it being like, I don't make YouTube videos doing this. I don't make TikToks about it. Warranted, that is true. But that's not what people are saying. But it's a really good way of getting out of, you know, addressing to it. Um, other people around me do. Moses, this is what we're talking about. I don't understand how that is a way of him responding to someone being like, apologize to your sister. No one tells me what to do. I don't share family drama for clicks and money. Others around me do. Now, I know that that's him being like, you know, Ethan and Ela do it. Just look beside you, Moses. Trish is probably in the next room filming an exposed video as you're writing this. It's interesting. I mean, he's responding to someone calling him out for something and he's being like, I don't need to address this because I don't do it. And then acknowledges that, like, Trisha does it at least. Okay, anyway. So then Trisha responds to the full thing that's going on talking about this is now in relation to Gabby Hanna coming on the podcast. And Trisha was basically saying that, you know, I don't see any problem with having, you know, conversations and healthy conversations. And, you know, Ethan should have Gabby Hanna on and Ethan should have David Dobrik on and Ethan should have James Charles on because it doesn't affect me. It won't piss me off. You know, if they want to have that conversation. And the reason I'm bringing this up in a video about Moses is because I have to end it on this. It's very interesting to me that Trisha Paytas, as in Trisha who on Frenemies was attacking Ryland Adams, was attacking Jeffree Star, attacking Shane Dawson for having Jeffree Star on Ryland's podcast. And Trisha fans, they're right there, were saying that, you know, that was not the reason, you know, Trisha had deeper rooted issues with Shane. There are so many clips on Frenemies where Trisha is saying that, I just don't know why he posted that podcast with Jeffree. It was just a slap in the face. You know, he could have deleted the podcast. So it seems to be an issue that Trisha has, you know, where people are having a conversation with someone that they don't like on a podcast. So for it now being flipped around, and I did a tweet. Let me actually read it out. Um, I know that Ethan liked it. And it was basically about, you know, Trisha can do what Trisha says that others shouldn't do. So I tweeted, and I mean, it did fairly well. You know, 12K likes. So my tweets normally average around like 100 to like 1,000. So that's way more than average. So a lot of people outside of me and this were agreeing with it. I said, Trisha dropped Shane and Ryland for having Jeffrey on Ryland's podcast because he accepted a deal with the devil. But when Trisha does it with Keemstar, Trisha is just having a debate. LMFAO, okay. And so Ethan liked that. And I just want to end this by asking you the question. We'll talk about it more in the future because we have a lot of screenshots to get with that. And there's just so much happening. But do you think, do you honestly think, or I'm not even going to try sway your opinion. I'm just going to ask you without being shady about it. Do you think that Trisha Paytas would not respond and be perfectly happy with it and just go on about their business on social media if Ethan mysteriously, out of nowhere, did a podcast episode with Gabby Hanna, went on Gabby Hanna's podcast, did a podcast episode with David, Jason, Shane, Ryland, Jeffrey, had any of them on the podcast. Do you think that Trisha would just be okay with that? Five seconds to answer, please, below. I'm a saying no. So it's interesting now that Trisha and Moses are, you know, taking the approach of, you know, Ethan is allowed to do whatever he wants and we're allowed to do whatever I want, you know, trying to, you know, kind of disable in the middle the connection between both of them whenever that was the biggest issue, whenever, you know, Frenemies was breaking up, that, you know, it was one unit and them betraying each other and Ethan betrayed and Trisha betrayed and it's like, Trisha no longer sees as an issue, nor Moses seeing it as an issue, because Trisha did this with Keemstar, got so much backlash from Ethan's side, family and fans, and is now like, oh, I just don't see how we like can't just go on other people's podcasts and do things separately. And that's the approach that Moses is taking. So again, I know that Moses was the one who wrote these comments, and you know that too. However, just 
eerily similar to how Trisha speaks. Again, I'm not implying anything, and I genuinely do mean that because I do think they're under one household, they're together all the time, they will talk like each other, but it's just eerily how Trisha talks and how Trisha is responding to all of this. And it just goes to show that they have the exact same opinions. So people are asking why Moses isn't doing more, why Moses isn't, you know, speaking up completely, you know, against Ela or for Ela, his pregnant sister, by the way. Here's the reason, because him and Trisha have the exact same opinion of this. And there's nothing me, you, Ethan, Ela, Donna, Gary, anyone involved can do to change that. It really does seem like they're making it a point that this is it, that, you know, they're their own unit. And I don't know who's going to their wedding. I, is Shane going? Is Ryland going? Is Jeffrey going? Is Gabby going? Like, how are we filling up those seats? You know what I mean? Lord. Anyway, I want to know what your opinion is below. Let's talk about it. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in my next one, and bye. Mwah.